Hi everyone, this is Darren. Um, I'm just going to do a quick overview of the um, AOSP Eclair build from XDA. So I've installed this a few days ago. Um, I'm on the current build. Um, uh, installed very easily for me, there was no problems. Um, installed first time, I, I was coming from the Cyanogen build, so I wiped and repartitioned my SD card. And no problems at all. What well, you've got to be aware of, uh, there are some issues with this ROM in terms of the synchronization and the camera. So do read up before you decide to plunge into it. So let's have a quick look. So here's the lock screen. Um, you get the um, volume button, which you can do that to mute. Do that and bring it back on, and then the lock button opens it up. As you can see, this is the main screen. Got the power control there, which is um, dead handed because when you install the um, ROM, you need to turn off your automatic synchronization with Google because it drains the battery and gets um, it hangs on it. So um, you need to turn that off. Um, and what I find for myself is it's just a case of using the power control to s synchronize every so often. If you do a, a, a quick a long sync at the beginning when you first install the ROM to get all your contacts on there and everything and then just um, sync as you want but you could also use the method that is on the forum that shows you how to set up your exchange for Gmail. Okay so let's go through some basic things so you can have a quick look. So there's the, um, the apps. You get a few pre-installed um, the pre install the missed call app for you, the pre install the wireless tether, and um, we've got wired tether there. Um, there's a couple of new things you might see on here. So, you've got the car horn, which allows you to bring up a, a, an easier to access menu for whilst you're driving around, which is nice. Uh, you also get um, the dock runner, which is obviously for people who have the droid dock, which quite looks quite nice and quite jealous of really um, and basically what you can do is you can turn into like a little bedside or table side clock media player picture viewer all that kind of stuff and that looks you know very nice little things there so you can dim it while you're sleeping um, weather there so that's I think that's one of the best things about um, the droid so far which I can't wait to be able to have a go myself when I get when it comes over here as the milestone anything else uh, it comes pre-installed with Facebook and MySpace this as well um, the maps is obviously one of the big things and especially for us here in the UK this maps application they has been hacked so we do actually get the navigation on this um, I'll just show you if it works. Um, it works really well for me. I've tried it, I've gone to work on it so I know the routes so I can see what kind of route it, it gives me. It gives me the exact route that I would have chosen for work. Um, only thing, let's have a look. The, the only thing is the voice. I don't like the voice. She's quite harsh and quick as well. She speaks dead quick. That's the only thing. Um, it didn't give me um, directions at roundabouts. When I went to roundabouts, it didn't tell me what exit to take. So that was the another thing. But other than that, this is you know f for a free navigation um, sat nav. This is just spot on. Um, obviously, the view changes when you get driving and stuff. But you can do little things here, such as change the layers. Um, so you can do it so that it brings up petrol stations and stuff that are near. So if I have a quick look and see if I can find one for you. Because I think if I do that, it changes the view for me. So there you go. So there's a petrol station right there. Okay, so if I click on that, it tells me what it is. Do that. And I can navigate to it. There you go. It tells you how far away it is, how long it's going to take. Head south toward Anstall Road. Then turn right at Anstall Road. So that's the voice, so I'm not too keen on it myself, but just gives you a little overview there, where you're going, where it's leading you, what the next one is, and then how long it's going to take, so it's quite, like I say, it works really well. Turn right at Anstall Road, 
Then turn left at Pencast Road. James, thank you very much. Um, so definitely worth having a look at. Okay, so that's maps. Anything else? Contacts. Uh, the this contacts list is much nicer. Yep. So we actually get the um, the view on this this time. So you get the pictures. And um, one of the good things about this is if you click the pictures, as you can see that you get a nice little bar that allows you to do all those things. So you can call them, look at the contact card, message them, email them or look at the map of where they are um, which is a nice little touch anything else different it keeps doing that so it goes back to there so it's pretty annoying but I could turn it off right so anything else uh, browser um, some slight differences the address bar um, appears at the top allows you to enter the address bar straight um, the uh, web address straight through there rather than having to go to the menu and click and go to you've got the double tap zoom and the triple tap zoom out so that works very well the bookmarks have changed in the sense of you get little thumbnails um, like that or you can have list of you've just seen and then you've got your most visited and your history at the top there do, do, do. What else? The markets is uh, the one we recognise, so there's no difference there. And you know, I, I am getting all the apps on this, so there's no issues with the apps. Um, do, 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 do. Messaging again, slightly different. Um, you get the thumbnail display of the person, which again you can click and um, actually. Oh, excuse me, which you can actually then do all the. Um, the little things with so it's just good to be able to um, access all these things from one place so you can whenever you've got your contact picture you can do any action with it <clears throat> we also have doo -doo -doo, the Moto phone portal which allows you to access your images your videos all that kind of stuff from the web so you connect wirelessly and then you so set that up. You connect wirelessly. I'm not going to do it because it brings up the um, the address of the um, the HTTP address. So I don't want to do that because you never know who's watching. Um, and then basically you enter that address onto the web and then it allows you to access certain things um, on your all the usual stuff there that you recognise. Uh, you, oh, by the way, when you're doing the maps, you do need to install um, your text-to-speech from the market, so it prompts you to do that. Uh, but everything else is more or less the same. You've got your accounts there, so you can have multiple accounts. There you go. Um, as you can see, I've turned off the auto sync because that is one of the issues. The camera doesn't work. The camcorder doesn't work, so that's not worth showing you. Um, but other than that. Um, I guess that's the main things really, I guess there's not much, there's the dialer, again it's been nice and improved, a little voicemail um, button there, so I should say it gets the voicemail straight away. Um, all the apps I've tried so far have worked, there have been no issues with them whatsoever. So there's the YouTube widget there which allows you to, I'm assuming that button there allows you to go directly to video camera and upload it and then that search button takes you to the YouTube application to allow you to search. Now, um, the ROM in itself is, runs very nice for me, I've not had any um, problems with it. Um, obviously there's you know, for things that aren't working, such as a camcorder, etc., and all that, which is, you know, a minor thing for the moment because, like I said, it's my second phone. I don't use this phone as my main phone. And I think if you're going to use a ROM like this, I think um, it's good to have a backup phone that, you know, allows you to do all the stuff that this doesn't do at the moment. But I'm sure these are the kind of things that they'll get sorted and things will uh, improve as time goes on. So they've done that's a fantastic the bit anyway. If there's anything else you want me to um, show you, any particular aspects of it, any questions you want to ask, then please feel free to leave a comment and um, I'll do my best to get back to you. In the meantime, thanks a lot guys.